for those of us who don't know, what does Conduit do? What do you guys do? Yeah, so we build software for residential HVAC contractors. Our main objective is to help them um, stand out on site by doing really high quality work. So what they can do is they scan the home, build out a 3D model, a 2D floor plan, and a load calculation on about 15 minutes or less, and use that as a tool to build value at the same time. So instead of ex saying to the customer, hey, I'm gonna go run a load calculation, you're building it with them and making them part of that design process. You're also using augmented reality to visualize what that install could look like in their space, whether it be adding a return or doing a mini split, um, adding a new condensing unit outside. And you can use that to actually talk them through how you're going to solve their problems. And that's how you build value and build trust. So within that conversation that you guys were having, what, what were some of your kind of takeaways from that conversation in terms of? I think the first takeaway is putting technology as part of your business is going to it has a cost. It, sometimes it's emotional, sometimes it is time, <laughs> sometimes, and it always involves money. And I think part of it is like, how do you build the trust within yourself that you wanna make that leap? And then how do you get ready to make that investment? And I think what we saw is there's like, among the three of uh, the business uh, operators there, they all took different approaches to how they brought technology into their business. Some said, this is what we're doing, we're doing it, get on board. Some said, let's phase it in. And some said, you know, I'm only gonna hire more junior folks and this is all they're ever gonna know. Mm. And I think mm -hmm. that's, those different variations of approaches are all different approaches that people can take in their business, but I think there's no right answer for one given business. And I think it's more like, what is the personality and the culture that you're creating at your company and what resonates the best um, with your leadership style as well. And I think what's amazing is each three of those business operators are awesome, incredible, thoughtful, kind leaders and people and they can still take those different approaches and be successful with them. So I know you guys have had the software out. How long has it been certified for? And, yeah. You know, with, with, with ACA and, and all that good stuff. So we've been certified for about a year now. Okay. Um, we, started, we started building the software back in 2022 um, and have been, it's been in market since the end of 2023. Um, and it's just been a ton of fun to see it grow and change. And what's really cool is at the symposium, first time I came to the symposium was 2022. That's where I met all of our beta users. So people who just helped us develop it, same in 2023. In 2024, um, that's, those are some of our earliest customers we met at the symposium. Um, so like our first, you know, some of our first hundred users we found here um, who are really pushing their businesses forward. And it's so cool to be back here this year and that's really get awesome. to see all of the, our, you know, beta users who like tried, who definitely broke the platform. They didn't even have to try. And uh, and then our users who have been giving us the feedback that's made the, the product so much better for a, a much more broad group of folks. So the symposium is the site of all the early adopters.